How's it going, everybody? So I have a pretty cool little haul that I just pulled from, um, went to a local bigger city, and they had their what's called Fresh by Brookshire's. If you've ever been to Whole Foods in some of the bigger cities, um, it's very similar to that. And I got some, some really cool beer there. It's, it's four things, but I just want to share it with you so you'll know what's coming up in future reviews. Um, the first beer I picked up, I've been hearing a lot about this. Um, I'm not usually like a huge fan of the brewery, but this has a huge reputation. Um, this is Storm King um, by Victory Brewery, and it is an imperial stout that comes in at 9.1% ABV. So that's Storm King. The second beer in question I'm very excited about is North Coast's Old Stock Ale. Um, 2014 release, of course, uh, and this is an old-styled ale that is supposedly just supposed to be very delicious and gets really good with you know age and time. And um, this one comes in 11.8 percent, so that's just like monstrously massive. Really simple but cool label on the front. Um, and I got two singles, big singles, of course. Um, this is from Odell Brewing Company, and this is their 180 shilling ale. And um, this is an oak-aged barley wine, 100% bottle reconditioning, and it comes in at 9.6% alcohol uh, by volume. And then finally, the coolest thing, in my opinion, this is from Crooked Line Brewery. This is their Labyrinth. Really cool artwork on the label. And this is a barrel-aged quadruple black ale. And it says it's an ale brewed with licorice sticks and aged in oak barrels. Um, it's 13.2% alcohol by volume, making this effectively the biggest beer from the whole trip. And this is just monstrous in general. And it says on Beer Advocate that this is considered to be an imperial stout. So we'll see. But um, anyway, those are the four beers that I picked up on this little mini haul. Um, you know, I know it's not that much, but I thought it was worth mentioning because of how cool this stuff is. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always, and stay tuned for the next beer review.